Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about render. On the render chart, um, the price is likely still forming here this wave two correction. Um, explained to you in the previous video that um, for me, the most likely and preferred, oops, preferred scenario would be that the price is still working on this C wave here. Um, that could take us to the next Fibonacci extension levels around $5.36 and $7.32. We completed already five waves up of the November low, here the 9th of November low, yeah. But it's a bit too short to be all of wave C. So we said, okay, what we can track is if what happened there was just the wave one of the C wave, because the C wave is a five wave move. Now it can be that such a five wave move is very short. And if it's too short, it might only be the first wave of an even larger five wave move. That's currently what I'm exploring. That scenario is valid as long as we're holding the 9th of November low, which is at $1.99, um, but already below $2.23, which is our Fibonacci support, this scenario would get far less likely because again, you know that, any sustained break below the 78.6 FIB level means that typically such a setup to the upside is going to fail. Now, if you, oh, if we zoom in here, we can actually see those five waves up very nicely. And the price formed these five waves and topped here potentially on the 20th of November. Now, if we track the downside, we can see we had a three wave move down. That's generally a corrective structure. It's not five, it's three which also would suggest that direct continuation higher is possible. And maybe wave two is already in, but that's not what I'm primarily looking for because wave two, I mean, sometimes a wave two is shallow and sometimes a wave two reaches the 38.2 FIB level only. That would be here at $2.90. However, in most cases, the wave two would reach the 50% FIB level or a little, little lower, yeah? especially in crypto, wave twos can be very deep. Um, but still should not really give us a sustained break below the 78.6 retracement. So because it didn't even reach the 38.2 FIB level, you know, I only consider this as the A wave. If the A wave is a three wave move, then the B wave can be fairly aggressive. And if I add some retracements to the chart, then you see that the price reacted to the 78.6 retracement level up there. Um, 358 so the price reacted to that and you know it can still go a little higher i mean especially when the a wave is a three wave move we have to be we have to be prepared for overshooting b waves now in a wave two overshooting b waves are not that common so it doesn't necessarily need to overshoot but at some point now um i would like to see that c wave to the downside that should send us into the region between two dollars and 91 and two dollars and 23 um, also with 269 and 249 in between. Assuming that B wave has topped, which isn't confirmed yet, and we can calculate a target as well. I mean, this down here is the support area, but we can take the length of the A wave, we go to the high of the B wave, and then we get a target region normally between the 100% extension level and the 1.618 extension. So we have here in addition to the levels already mentioned, $2.88. It's the 100% 100 extension. <coughs> Sorry. 100% extension, very, very close to the 38.2 retracement. So good overlap there, yeah, confluence. Then we've got the $2.74 level and $2.53 will be crucial. It's the 1.618 extension, very close to the 61.8 retracement. So there, I think there are two areas where we have good support. And I leave that on the chart, but we'll just only show only show the relevant levels here um, between the 100% and the 161.8% extension. Yeah, and then you have it on the chart as well. But yeah, at the moment, I mean, this move up looks like a three wave move. I'm not sure where that gap comes from. Cryptos normally don't have gaps, but maybe it's a bit of a glitch there on the exchange. Um, KuCoin is here, the data comes from from KuCoin at the moment. Yeah, and then as long as the $2.23 level is holding, um, a third wave rally would be a reasonable expectation. 
Okay, that's my update about Render. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.